Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came in to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, uh, back in June, uh, on the day of Muhammad Ali's funeral, I went to the Fifth Street Gym to interview people around the gym about the passing of Muhammad Ali, and that was a great day, a special day. Uh, had a great time doing interviews that day. Hopefully, I get to go get down there soon. Um, I ran into a guy named Joe Fournier, and if you guys don't know who Joe Fournier is, he is a professional. He was a nightclub promoter from the UK, the United Kingdom, turned professional boxer. He's been boxing for a couple of years. Um, he's trained at the History Gym, and he re, uh, he talked to me a while with Muhammad Ali. He talked to me about his uh, sparring session with James DeGale, and I found it pretty interesting. He thought really highly of James DeGale, and he spoke very highly of James DeGale, uh, Olympic gold medalist, super middleweight, you know, top top guy. So uh, here's uh, Joe Fournier talking about his sparring session with James DeGale. Take a look. Well, uh, you know, you are from Britain. Uh, you just fought at the O2 Arena. Yeah. Uh, for those that may not know you, could you just tell them a little about yourself? So um, my name is Joe Fournier. I'm 5-0 uh, as a pro. I'm fighting in two weeks in uh, Belgium uh, and, and Nino. I, um, I've been training here at the Fish Region for two years. Uh, my goal is to, you know, uh, obviously win uh, one of the WBC um, you know, regional belts. I think that's kind of you know, where I'm at. I'm, I took up boxing a bit later on in life. I'm 33 now. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, but you, you know, saying that, you know, I, I let my last camp, I did a lot of sparring um, with some top fighters here. And also we had James Gell here, who, who I mix it up with, uh, helping him get ready for his, uh, his world title fight. So, you never know. I'm still learning. I'm very, you know, humble to be allowed to train at such a prestigious gym. And um, it's something that hopefully, I learn so much every camp that, you know, for me, my goal is to, is to win, you know, a, one of those WBC, whether it's um, Intercontinental or maybe Mediterranean belt, something like that. But, you know, who knows? Who knows? You just never know where life will exactly. take you. I just work hard. I do as I'm told. And I just keep learning every time I'm in the gym. Okay. Um, you said you spar with James DeGale. How, yeah. how, how was that? Like, I mean, he hit me four times in the space of like half a second and I didn't see any of them. So, <laughs> no, you know, he's a real gentleman. Like, you know, he's a level above. And, uh, but just, you know, I learned my, my personal, my personal skill set went up maybe three or four notches after that because he, he can go southward, he can go orthodox. He's phenomenally fast. I hit him clean and he can take a punch. He looked back at me and he said, you're going to have to hit me harder than that. <laughs> now I'm like five and oh, five knockouts. I'm heavy handed, you know, this guy was... I, I really realize why he's world champion after after being in the, in, you know, in the ring with him. He's, yeah, for me, out there right now, at, at around my weight, he's definitely my number one, uh, my number one boxer. Okay, so are you 168 and 175 or just 168? No, he, he fights at 168. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I fought 175, but I'm saying in and around. You know, okay. Yeah, oh, so you replace him above, even, even above the guys at light heavyweight? I mean, besides Adonis Steven and Kovalev, you know, there isn't really my my buddy here, Bilal Lagoon, who's mm -hmm. fighting for the yeah, WBC uh, phone, uh, francophone belt. He's he's someone that you know did really well against him in sparring. But yeah, I think the gal just skill wise. I mean, you never really get a gold medalist, Olympic gold medalist, and world champion, and he keeps defending it away from home. Yeah. So uh, without kissing his ass too much, you know. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> and a Brit night for me, it was yeah. a real deal. Like you know. Just to, to be able to, you know, defensively move southpaw and orthodox like that was just been. He, he switches in, in the middle of the round. Uh, yeah, he does. He, he doesn't switch like, like, like a lot of guys. Like you look at like Terence Crawford. Yeah. Terence Crawford will switch and he'll stay in the stance. The Gale will throw like two punches, then he'll switch. Then he'll switch, then switch back. He just covers so much of the ring because he steps. He just changes stance as he steps. So it's like impossible to, um, you know, to gauge. And then he, he kind of he, he goes. He, he steps and he brings his hand out and boom hits you in the bottom of the chin. You're like. <laughs> Really, again, yeah. you know, so, nah, he, you know, he's special and, and he works to the body, you know, you, so you never really know when he's going to go high or low. So, no, it was definitely, you know, I went back to sparring my sparring partners after that and it was easy. Yeah. So we had to up my level, you know, sparring partners, so it was good. You know, that's how you learn is you get in the ring with people better than you. And, and as long as you work hard and, and you stay humble, you know, hopefully I'll get more opportunities with great fighters like that again. Okay. For those of that, for people who have never seen you fight, could you describe your style and who you are as a boxer? You know, I'm very, I'm very aggressive. You know, like I don't really, you don't get paid overtime in boxing. You know, so I don't have a lot of patience. Like the last guy I fought, we were trying to like, you know, you know, he was a last minute replacement. He was 14 and eight. You know, he was just one. He was a cruiserweight drop down. Just won his last two by KO. So we, I was longer, taller guy. And they were like, just keep the jab, just you know, win on points, nice and easy. And then when I when I smell blood, you know, I, I get you it. Close you know, the show. You know, I close the show. So, so I'd say I'm a very aggressive kind of explosive fighter. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I stay really calm. You know, like I don't really get so nervous in fights. Um, 
I, I guess it's being a bit older, you know, it helps. And uh, yeah, I'd say I'm aggressive, sort of explosive fighter, and um, and someone that likes a good show. Yes. Yeah. We all love a good show. Exactly. Um, any message to the boxing world? Anything you want to say? Um, yeah, I just want to say, you know, for me, boxing is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, and. Uh, I want to just say for out there, for every boxer that is a professional and amateur, keep doing it. You know, you never know, sky's the limit. And uh, if you don't give up, and uh, you never know where you can get to. All right, Joe Fournier, be on the lookout for him. He's coming for you guys. Thank you. All right, thank hey, you. Joe.